Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Lauren Hardy and today we are going to comp some properties. I'm going to first start with comping this one on Zillow and seeing if we can accomplish it with just using a free tool. Um, I think Zillow is awesome. If you can't afford a prop stream membership, this is, this still can work for you. You can still comp homes with you know, with accuracy, um, but PropStream is going to really drill in the accuracy and tell you, you know, who bought that home is, was that an investor purchase? Um, so let's start with Zillow. So the property is 900 Northeast 19th street and more. It's a three bed, two bath. There's even some photos on Zillow, which is kind of cool. The house, to be honest, doesn't look in bad shape. It actually looks like in pretty good shape. So we're going to probably anchor higher on this one. Um, we also know that in Moore is a really nice area. The Zestimates 179, I just like to think about that. Sometimes Zestimates right or close, you know? So it's interesting, you know, to know um, sort of what would be the as-is value of this home. Um, I'm gonna drill in a little bit here and see, uh, you know, just get in the, uh, get the house um, hovered in, like hover into the neighborhood with Zillow. And then I'm gonna make sure I don't have any filters, which I do, cause I was doing this earlier. So we've got sold in the last 12 months. And um, you know what I didn't do? I did not write down the square footage of this house. That would have been smart, wouldn't it guys? So you wanna make sure that you've got like your square footage so you're comparing. So this is a 1600 square foot house. It's a three bed, two bath. So I wanna find comps that look like they've sold to investors at and figure out what price that is. So what I like to do is I actually like to go price low to high. I love this tool. It just makes it so easy to see. And then I like to just quickly scroll and see like all the dots, see how they're pulling up and like seeing, you know, where our, you know, property compares. So I'm going to drill real in there, right. And see if there's like anything that looks kind of investor purchase E in the area. So it looks like you know, your higher price stuff is in the 180s to 186, and then it starts getting low. It starts going to like 150, 162. But honestly, I would, I need more comps than that. This is just not enough for me. Um, so if you, if you go scroll out a little bit more, um, you're now getting stuff even lower, 145, you know. Um, and again, you're like seeing the, the more, this is like the nicer home that was fixed up, was going for like 180 in this neighborhood. So let's drill out even more and just see how low do we go? You know, what, what is like the absolute lowest? So you can see here, got some ones that sold really low. Um, kind of wondering if they're, you know, kind of an anomaly. It, it looks like they're in this part of the neighborhood and we're more part this over here, um, you know, but but you know, those houses kind of look similar. Let's look, what's the difference? Oh, they're two bedrooms and they're much, much smaller. So that wouldn't be really a comp we would use, you know, because it's like we're, our house is 600 square feet bigger. Um, same with this one, it went for 125 and you know, our house is, is still bigger than that. That's 1235. Um, so now we're starting to look up one, 125, but it's 900 square feet, 128, you know, still too small. Not really a good comp here for us. There's a lot of two beds in this area, geez. Um, in the 130 range, we're still going, our house is better than that, come on. You know, we're a three bed, two baths, 1600 square feet, right? So the, you don't start paying attention until right here, right? Three bed, two bath, 1400 square feet. You're like, okay, we're getting warmer. Um, 142. 1500 square feet. Now, if you add prop stream up, what you could do is look up who bought this and make sure, is this an investor? Is this an investor? Is that an investor? You know, if you start noticing like this sale, you know, is actually more of a retail sale, you know, but it's smaller. So, you know, that kind of makes sense. Um, three bed, this is a little bit bigger. So you see what I'm doing here, like 145. I would love to know if this was an investor purchase. So I would love to look that one up on PropStream, you know, and see. Um, but if you don't want, if you want to skimp out and go free, you get what you pay for. So this is, we're stuck with Zillow. But, you know, we're, I get it. We're all on a budget. So 
you know, if, if Zillow, if is meets to free is your budget, then I want to show you that you can do it. Um, this is an awesome comp right here. 146. This looks like an, it's kind of beat up, probably an investor purchase. Um, so what I'm seeing is I could say, Mr. Seller or Mrs. Seller, I've got, I've got comps to back up my price. I'm going to go all the way back here and I'm going to start with this one. This is my favorite one to anchor to 135. And I would probably, you know, I, I would really want to know, you know, what, um, I would want to know what other investors were paying. Um, like this is a good one. One, this one went for 155 and it really kind of looks like an investor sale because of the condition of the home. I would love to drill down with prop stream. You know, what is the highest that a cash buyer was paying in this neighborhood? And if I knew that, you know, then I could really like know how far up I can go. Um, but because we're talking, we, we just are doing free stuff right now. We're, we're only using Zillow. I, I want to show you, you can still do this, you know, with Zillow if you don't have a hundred dollars a month on prop stream. Um, so I would start at 135 using this and I would probably try to keep myself under 145. Um, you see how I don't overthink it. I don't because I, I do think that these, you know, likely like this one likely went to an investor. So that tells me I could sell it for 155. I can make $10,000 if I keep it, you know, at 145 or more, right? I can make more if I get it at 135. Um, so I'm going to lock this thing up. You know, I'm going to try to lock this thing up. And what ended up happening is we did lock it up at 135, which is awesome, right? We locked it up at 135. And then we actually put this out on the market and buyers are so hungry in this area. This is such a good area um, that we sold it for 165. So we actually found a buyer um, unique situation where because the property was in such good condition, um, they were willing to pay more and it cash flowed as a rental for them. So um, this one, we had quite a big spread, a $30,000 spread. So, you know, what is helpful about Zillow is you can kind of just quickly go through this view and just come up with a price. If you, um, you know, wanted to really dial in a little bit more, you could do um, like square footage, 1500, you know, to uh, 1750 to like, just not have to look at so many, you know? So we got like 132, 145, um, this is helpful. So you don't have to look at so much. Um, and I just like to stay, you know, at the, the average of the lowest three, um, that other one got cut off because it was less than 1500 square feet. Um, but kind of, I'm glad, you know, we knew to just offer low and anchor low when in doubt anchor low. Um, but if you just took the average of like the lowest three in an area like this, where there's a lot of you can tell there's a lot of investor activity, you usually will be okay. So um, this really doesn't take that long when you use a Zillow method. The most important thing is that you're getting offers out, you, you know, anchor low when in doubt. I didn't mean to rhyme, but it did. <laughs> um, yeah. And just get offers out, make offers to sellers and, you know, see where, you know, how low that they are willing to go. What's the lowest they're, you know, willing to take and see if you can find investor purchases that support that price. That's it. So easy, right? So that's it, guys. I hope you liked it. Um, that was a quick and dirty, uh, quick and dirty comping on Zillow brought to you by Lauren Hardy. Uh, make sure you check out my wholesaling mini course. It's absolutely free. Go to www.laurenhardyco.com. Thanks. Bye.